Hi guys, we just wrapped up a shoot uh, explaining clamshell lighting to you and we just had a brilliant idea of how simple can we make this lighting setup that you can do it in any home, home, the studio, small, small space and with everyday items. So uh, I've just got my camera, I've got a 24 to 70 mil. Most of you, if you are beginners, will probably have an 18 to 55 mil, which will be just as, as good to use um, for this lighting setup. Um, we do have a flash gun uh, with a white umbrella. Um, I mean, you could uh, make some, some uh, scrims up with uh, tracing paper, which is like a wooden frame and just covering it in tracing paper. Or you could get uh, a box and cut out the bottom and then cover it in tra tracing paper and you'll get a similar effect. Uh, okay, so again, it may be a bit of uh, DIY for you, but it will be worth it in at the end. Now to replace our second light, because obviously we want to try and do this as simple as possible and we're only going to use one light for this. We've got our white foam board here. Now if you don't have white foam board, uh, you can get it from any arts, uh, arts or crafts uh, supplier relatively cheap. Um, or if you can't go out, um, you could use kitchen foil uh, and wrap it around um, a book or a, a, wooden, a wooden block surface. Uh, you could also um, have your own reflector if you do have one at home and you're more of a keen hobbyist and you may have reflectors you, you can also use it. So what's going to happen is this, this flash gun's going to gonna fire, the umbrella will, um, will light up and illuminate Lottie and then our white foam board will just fill in any shadows we actually have. So I'm just going to take a couple of shots. Now as we're shooting this against a white wall, and we are in quite a small space because we've got a bed right next to us and a, a big radiator, um, I've had to actually adjust my aperture to be quite a shallow depth of field. So I'm actually shooting at uh, 5.6. I could go to 2.8 if I, if I wanted, but most of your, your lenses wouldn't, wouldn't do that. So I'd rather try and stick to the kinds of strengths you may also find yourself in. in. Um, so having a a, uh, the shallower depth of field means you're not going to pick up as much detail from your back, backdrop um, so it should appear as a pure white or maybe a slight tingy grey which, which can be corrected in Photoshop and Lightroom uh, as you do. Okay so I'm just going to do a couple of shots of Lottie. Um, I am shooting quite close to her due, due to the nature of uh, the lens but as long as you're not being too claustrophobic it shouldn't be a problem but again if you were working in a tight space, this is exactly how you would also have to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to take a couple more shots. Obviously, can I get you turned a bit, a bit more this way? Perfect. And then, then yeah, looking at me. I'm just going to do a few more portrait ones. Okay. Oh, lovely. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. And I'll just post the examples now uh, to you. Uh, I really hope you have enjoyed this, uh, this quick DIY video and we hope to see you in uh, the next one. If you are watching this on our YouTube channel, please click like. Uh, if you have tried this out, uh, add your images below in the comment section and click subscribe and the bell button for any future uh, uh, tutorials we are, we are doing. And I'll see you in, in the next one. Thank you, bye, bye.